All right, the moment that nobody's been waiting for, 100% castor oil soap. They said I couldn't do it, and were they right? Maybe, probably, we'll see. So I had this four liter jug of castor oil I got from God knows where, and it was really expired. Maybe that contributed to the soap, February 28th, 2021, but I hate wasting things, so I figured I would make a 100% castor oil soap. You know the drill, first thing is to weigh out the oils. I'm using my molds that I have that hold a thousand grams, so what I'm going to go with is a 95% castor oil with a 5% castor oil soap to give me my 1,000 grams. Now this was my omen or premonition right here. I went over on the oil, which I never do, so the vibe I was putting into it was kind of bad off the start. I scooped it out with the measuring cup made a big mess, but I got that thousand bang on and that's, I guess what's important. So next, obviously we're gonna weigh out our lye and our water. I don't have the recipe in front of me, so I'll just go off the video. What did I do? 125 grams. I think I did a 5% super fat. So 125 grams of lye, and then I'm gonna weigh out my water. Usually I'm doing, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I do. 238 grams of water, it's pretty close. The water's not that important. Yeah, I was gonna go nuts here. I'm thinking if I'm doing a single oil soap, I'm gonna do my swirls, I'm gonna try a bunch of different techniques. It's gonna be fragranced. I'm going to make a good bar of caster. If I'm going caster, I'm going all in. So I had all these fragrances picked and weighed out. And this was gonna be one of the best soaps I ever made. I felt like I had something to prove. So what do I have in there? Blue raspberry. Again, I wanted to use up some stuff too. French vanilla, interesting mix. Also had some vanilla cream. Like I said, we're going all in here. And of course, the mango papaya. So it was going for a tropical fruity kind of vibe. Now I've turned into a big fan of checking the temperatures. I like my oils and my lye water both to be between 110 and 120, preferably about 115 each. So I'm at 114.8 and what, 120? I'm saying that's good enough, let's go. We all know the next step, dump the lye water into the oils and this is where you really start soaping. This is like the moment of truth. This is when things happen. The clock starts ticking, it's go time. Do or die, we don't know what's gonna happen. Hit it with the stick blender and right away, see how it changes kind of opaque? like a little creamy color, I know that it's going to trace fast when that happens. And you could see it thickening up right away. So at this point, I just wanted to do it long enough just to mix it so that everything's all even consistency and there's no unmixed parts. And you could see right there, it's thick. So that fragrance is going right away. It's not mixing. Now's when, um, this is like when things get serious when you're soaping. Okay, we're hitting trace too fast. I'm done with the blender. I'm going by spatula. Now's uh, when you got to start making some decisions. So, fra or not fragrances, but colors are cut out. All I'm going to try and do at this point is get the fragrance mixed in and get it into the mold. But it was a little chunky and I was kind of panicky. So in my panic, I figured, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit it with the stick blender again and get it fully mixed. But it's already too thick at this point and that blender is not doing anything. So I kind of just dirtying up the blender for nothing. It was probably good to go in the mold. So after being an idiot for a little bit, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Let's just get it in the mold. Tap off of as much as I can. Oh, look, at that. I dropped the thing right on the floor. I got soap all over the floor. That was great. The, uh, the mishaps continue and I'm convinced now it's because I weighed out too much oil. I kind of want to redo this actually watching it back. All right. so. Like I said, I just wanna get it into the mold at this point. Best thing to do is to spatula it out. I'm not gonna be able to get any colors in there, no swirls, nothing special, but you know what? I still have a soap and it's fragranced and you know, not all is lost. There's still something to work with here. So get everything out of the bowl and into the mold, flatten it in as best as I can. I wanna really pack it in there to fill all the voids and obviously not waste any soap. So I'm smoothing it. I feel like some kind of artist now. So I had another idea, being as brilliant as I sometimes am, that I'm gonna do something fancy on top because might as well. I quickly realized I don't know what the hell I'm doing and abandoned that idea pretty damn quick. 
and just decided to smooth it back out. Yeah, I'm gonna tamp it down now. That's not gonna do anything. Wipe off the edges, get the lid on, forget about it. I'm over it at this point. I just want it to be done. So get the lid on it, set it aside till the next day, not even 24 hours later, I unmold it and you know, this is a good sign. It's set because the recipe said that it would not be hard. So I figured it wouldn't set. And now I'm like, oh yeah, this set up really hard. Like, obviously I know what I'm doing and Soap Calc doesn't because they said it wouldn't set. So, haha. -ha. Should be easy as the rest of my soaps. Less than 24 hours, unmold it, throw it on the cutter, cut it up and we're good to go. So you can see it didn't quite fill the mold. I kind of expected that, the edges are a little rough. So I plant the cutter down on it and start leaning into it. And uh, it's really, really hard. Like this isn't cutting. And if you've ever used one of these cutters, it's a weird feeling. You're leaning over top of it, putting your weight onto it. And it's just this feeling that the strings are gonna snap and poke me in the eye. And that I'm gonna lose my vision doing this. So I'm pushing, you know, I'm not super strong, but I'm not like frail and it's not cutting. It's not going through, it's stalled out. So again, another thing not going right. I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna grab my old school soap cutter, the old cheese cutter. This thing has not let me down and I'll just go one by one. Well, that was with my old molds, these new molds. The soap's too big for the cutter, so there's no way to get through. They're not staying on straight. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna roll it around and cut each corner out and go one by one. Then I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'll never be able to do this. All the pieces are gonna be messed up and uneven. So I'm gonna get this end piece off and then come up with another idea. I'm getting a little frustrated by this point. I just wanna get this thing cut. You know what? I'll put it back on the cutter and come at it from all angles this way. You know, really lean into it. Eventually I gotta get through. So I'm making some progress here. This is sped way up. This took ridiculously long to cut and way too much effort. Strange, strange how it ended up rock hard. I'm on top of the stool. I'm really putting my weight into it. And you can see we're, we're finally getting through. So this is success. All right, I'm thinking, you know, the worst part's over. I've got this caster soap. At least I'm gonna have a, a usable soap, right? Something I could use. I got my cuts, the soap set, it's hard. I'll let it cure up. Doesn't look that bad, it smells pretty good. All right, we'll let it cure for a week and we'll do a, uh, a lather test. So I'm just gonna waste the end, not waste the end, but I'm gonna use the end for my lather test. Like I said, rock hard, unbelievably hard. The hardest soap I've ever made. And that's probably, I don't know, 100, 200 batches. All right, classic lather test, you know. Roll it around in my hands, get some water in there quickly realized is that this soap does not lather, or I should say it's the creamiest, greasiest, creamiest lather I've ever had on a soap. So castor is supposed to be the skin care soap. I'm trying to think of what this would be good for. I probably wouldn't make it again, but if I had crazy sensitive skin, maybe this would work. It's really, really nourishing feeling. If I wanted to make it work, I would probably cut it like an 80-20 with uh, extra virgin olive oil. But for me at that point, I'm just gonna make Castile soap, 100% olive oil. Yeah, so here it is. There's your 100% castor oil soap. Maybe it was because the oil was expired by three years. We'll never know. But now you know how it works or how it doesn't. Give it a shot, let me know what you think.